Welcome back. Well, you know our next guest from her years is the host of the mega, mega popular show, Trading Spaces. She's also a Broadway star, best-selling author. She's a dog mom. She's a wife. She's my buddy. I first met Paige Davis in March of 2018. Look at this behind-the-scenes uh, picture when she was on our show for the first time. And these are pics from the time that we met, the first time we met backstage during the commercial break before her very first interview. And as you can see, and I've told this story many, many, many times, we had an instant connection that has never happened before, and I don't think it's going to happen uh, since. Well, since that day, Paige has become a friend and appeared uh, on the show several times, including a few months ago at the very start of the pandemic. So please welcome back to the show, my dear, beautiful friend, Paige Davis. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Uh, I'm good, sweetie. How are you? I'm doing okay. I don't know if I'm any different than I was the last time we talked. <laughs> no, you are okay. Let's okay. Let's talk about well, this. I'm first. back in New York. You are back in I'm New York. Sheltering in place in Avalon, New Jersey, which is you know down the shore. Yeah. Um, and we're back home in New York because my parents they need to rent that house out in the summer, and the renters came. By golly, summer was not halted by coronavirus. So we they skedaddled to Colorado, which is what they always do. And we had to return to New York. So we've been home since mid-May. Well, I got to tell you, after our segment aired, again, Paige was on right at the beginning of the pandemic. And you were just starting to grow out your hair. And we got such a reaction from women, Paige, that were like, you go, girl. Don't be afraid of that. Let it go. How, and now look at it. It looks really good, sweetheart. It does. Okay, so here's the thing, though, Jason. I did actually end up doing the roots. And well, so I, but I left the ones in the, just this part. So this is actually my natural color in the front. Oh, seriously? That's that my natural color everywhere. But so I actually did end up doing the roots because I was going on TV, not like this, where it's like casual and we're just talking about the Rona. Yeah. But, um, I, I got to do a $100,000 pyramid. Yes. And so that's going to air in January. So I will so come back on and promote that. Uh, just uh, as an excuse to see you. Um, so I was like, I'm not, I'm not going on national television with like a yarmulke of gray hair. No, <laughs> I, think it, I think it looks fantastic. So how, again, we haven't talked on the show uh, for months. How are you and Patrick doing with, with the pandemic? I mean, how is quarantining? We're okay. I mean, we're very fortunate. You know, we have a, a thousand square foot apartment, which is unheard of in New York City. Yeah. And he's sometimes in the bedroom. I'm sometimes in the bedroom. You know, we make space. We live one block away from Riverside Park. New Yorkers are um, very conscientious. You can pretty much do anything and go anywhere as long as you're wearing your mask. And everybody here is doing that. And our numbers are going down. Outdoor seating at restaurants is happening and so that's kind of nice yeah. the weather's nice enough that we, we can sit outside we and yeah i mean it is what it is we didn't really <laughs> talk about this the last time but for people that don't know Paige is an actress patrick is an is an actor both on broad both have been on broadway what how how was it at the beginning when broadway shut down we didn't discuss this last time for patrick and the, the, well, he, you know, he was currently and would be if yeah. the shutdown hadn't happened, playing Hades in Hades Town on Broadway. Big, you know, best musical huge. of the year. It's phenomenal, huge thing. And everybody thought, you know, everybody the Broadway would be shut down for a couple of months, just like every other business we thought would be just shut down for a couple of months. So he, you know, has to face the fact that it might not come back. Um, I don't think. Broadway shows will actually raise their curtain until fall of next year, not spring. Oh, of next year. Um, I think we're going to need, um, you know, a, a, a vaccine that's been, um, you know, readily available where mass people are able to be inoculated. And that's just not going to happen until fall. It's going to take a long time to get through everybody who needs it. Yeah. So um, I'm excited that they're coming close to a vaccine that they have a trial already, but that doesn't mean everybody's just going to like get it. Like, yeah. oh yay, it's here, and yeah. now we're all inoculated. No, yeah. it's going to take time. To let's go to Broadway, off. kids. Let's head to a show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. My first stop is to sit in a crowded theater. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not. No. So you know, 
But I don't know, maybe this might be too dark for your show, but I know you're open about a lot of things. Quarantine has been interesting for us because Patrick has started going to AA. Oh. And he has stopped drinking. He's passed his 90 day mark already. That I've is wonderful, Paige. I'm going to Al Anon meetings. So, you know, if any of your viewers are watching and they want to direct message me or talk to me about anything about that, that's kind of in my whole world is like journaling, reading Al Anon literature, <laughs> like in my own recovery, because you're actually in your own recovery when you're in Al Anon. Yeah. And um, it's been like, I mean, I've done 25 years of personal psychotherapy with therapists and like in three months, I'm like mind blown. Yeah. I I mean, not that it's so almost page it's, it's from something awful has come a kind of a wonderful transformation. Would you not agree? I when I would 100% agree. It's not without its fear and pain and it's been really hard, but it's been really, really good. Ultimate, I mean, ultimately phenomenal. I, well, and, and I know you won't mind me asking, is, is it making you guys stronger? It's such a cliche, but is it, is it making you guys stronger? This, this, I hate that word journey, but this, I know, I get it. I know there's so many words that have been co-opted. Sorry, I'm on my computer force quitting my mail. So it doesn't keep dinging on us. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, it's made us stronger. You know, that's a weird thing because the growth is kind of like, yeah. You know, it's not a linear climb. Um, so, you know, on today, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, on another day, I might be like, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, you know, there's a lot of hurdles that come up because not only are you dealing with the literal aspect of the non-drinking, but then when you start doing the inner work, some days you feel really strong and happy, and but you might not feel strong and happy on the same day as your spouse. Yep. Right. So there's like all of this back and forth. And sometimes it's really great together. And sometimes it, we feel like we're three steps forward, two steps back, I think. But I, I also think that that's human and normal. I, I was going to say, Paige, everyone wants it's not a movie. It's not a Broadway show. There, it's not going to wrap up at curtain. And Paige well, we could break into song, but I, I mean, mean we, I mean, you could. I mean, we. <laughs> Paige isn't breaking into song at the end of a Wednesday. I'm going to bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't fight today. <laughs> That's not everybody's life? Oh, I'm sorry. No. Okay, okay. Will, you, will you stick around, sweetie? Paige is sticking around. We're going to talk okay. uh, more when we come back with my friend, the one and only Paige Davis, right after this. <laughs> to sweep before they leave? Nope. They sure won't, ma'am. It's all your responsibility. Welcome back. Just a few of the surprise reveals we saw last year on the reboot of Trading Spaces on TLC. Uh, my good friend, our special guest this hour is Trading Spaces host, Paige Davis. Paige, what is the one thing about the TS that surprises people the most when you tell them? Is there an aspect of the production of the show that would shock people? Or that would, shock's pretty dramatic. That would surprise people. Uh, well, the first thing that comes to mind is nobody believes me that it was real. Still? Still, because they've been so um, conditioned to know that reality television, although it has its reality moments and real moments, is heavily produced and manipulated. Yeah. And I think people just, they just don't believe me. They also do not believe me that Hildy is really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you told me that. I got I Paige, I've told this story three or four times. It's not a lie. Paige and I really did the pictures we showed at the beginning of the segment. We really did become like instant, like rice a friends. So much so that we did an interview that day and right, Paige? Eight hours later, Paige was in my living room watching reruns of Trading Spaces with me, Colin, and Jen. And so, right, I was gonna. Ask, what's the most What's the thing that surprised you the most? I can't say on TV. <laughs> 
It's something you, it's, I can't say. Oh, that I ha you mean that I have a foul mouth? No, it's oh. some dish that just, no, but there's been, I, yeah, there's dish that I, y yes, you know, you just remembered it. Yeah, we had a great birthday brunch in New York, didn't we, Paige? We did. And I will never, anyway, no, you know, the, actually the thing that, surprised me that night. I know, now you know exactly what you told me. Anyway, um, is the, no, the Hildy thing did shock me the most because I went in thinking that Hildy was difficult and not friendly, and you were like, no, she's one of the nicest. Yeah, she is difficult, but only when it came to her vision, you know, she wasn't going to shrink her vision. Yeah. But other than that, no, I mean, so she would be difficult when it came to that. Like she would tell the producers, no, no, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And, and but it, it came from a good place. She really believed she was inspiring people to think outside the box. She and it is true that she didn't see people's homes as their homes. It, it, but I mean that in a good way. I know everybody in your audience is probably nodding their head right now. Like, yeah, we know. <laughs> But what I mean by that is she meant it, she saw people's rooms as a canvas yes. to burst you to burst your mind open. She never expected you to do what she was doing in that person's home. But they signed a whole bunch of papers saying, yep. like, you can do whatever you want to my home. So she was like, okay. And she would try to really inspire people to just like really step out of their box. Yeah. You just do something they would never do. We have a few more minutes with Paige, and we'll do that when we come back. Stay with us, everybody. More of my buddy. And no, I'm not going to tell you what it was. Back right after this. Mm -hmm. Let's make it a good day. A uh, brand new theme song, the one and only Yam House. Make it a good day, everybody. Let's make it a Anyway, our guest today is Paige Davis, the star of the, one of the most popular home renovation shows of all time. Uh, now, in a minute, we're going to play a game to end on a happy note. But, Paige, I want to spend, like, maybe 30, 45 seconds. Um, talk to me about your buddy Frank, if you will. We didn't get to Frank, and I, and I want to pay tribute to uh, Frank. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it, you can't think of trading spaces without thinking about Frank. Um, his death was very unexpected, very sudden, and really threw all of us, yeah. um, just threw us for a loop. Doug is the one who's taking it the most hard of our cast, I think, Doug Wilson. Yeah. Um, he's had a really hard time bouncing back from that. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you what do you say? He was the he was the father, he was the paternal patriarch of our show, and he kept us all laughing. He kept everything in perspective at all times. And you know, here's some gossip. He was a dirty old man, is what he was. Everything's <laughs> so sweet, you know? but he was so you know he was such a like a smoking rough tough like it's so funny his on air per personality is so like delicate and soft because he was a gruff old prankster yeah you know he was just the most everybody loved frank everybody yeah. was, nobody did like him that was another thing that you told me that first night at my house you're like he's as lovely as as you want him to be so oh yeah 100 percent 100 percent it's time to put a mouth on him yes <laughs> well it's time to put Paige to the test with a game that we're calling home reno or home ren yes here's how it's going to work i'm going to give Paige the name and description of a home remodeling show, and she has to guess if it's real or made up by the world-renowned Jason So research team. So are you ready, Paige? Sure. Okay. I'm going to tell this. <laughs> no, I think you'll do okay. Okay, here we go. Home reno or home ren yes. Game of homes. Couples compete as they renovate homes. Uh, no. I'm sorry, that's real. That is home <laughs> ren, yes. Home it's ren, yes. Show. I should host it. You should host that one, Paige. Get on that. Okay, next. Decorating sense in the city. The, the premise, New Yorkers renovate studio apartments on the cheap. No. You are right. That is, that is ho home reno. Uh, home reno. Next. While you were out, homeowner surprised with renovation while gone for the weekend. Home ren, yes. That's right. 
on your <laughs> network, the TLC. Okay, okay, next. First time flippers. People try flipping homes for the first time. Home run, yes. Yeah, it's on the DIY okay. network. Yeah, you got that one right. Okay, next. Don't touch that room. Spouses remodel a room against their loved one's wishes. <laughs> Home run, no. You're right, but wouldn't that be really good, That's Paige? That's such a good show. Can, yeah. you, can you host that one too, please? 100%. Okay. And then we'll enroll them all in AA and Al Anon. We'll yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next, deck wars. Two team compete uh, uh, building decks. Home run, yes. Yeah, that one's on HGTV. Okay. okay, next, I wrecked my house. Design teams. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> Okay. I don't even. Yeah, that's on HGTV. Okay, yeah. next, 80s to today. Designers transform homes built in the 80s and bring them into the modern era. Should happen. That is a home run no. You are right. And again, you should host that one too. I'm just, that one's. The team needs to start pitching shows to HGTV. I know. It's, it's producer Jeff should, what's he doing here? Oh my gosh, they've they've got the best ideas. Yeah. And uh, finally, she's crafty, making home decor at home. And the show's called She's Crafty? Yeah. It's a good title. Um, Home Reno. That is actually real. (gasps) That That's is actually real. Show. Yeah, that is actually real. Okay. Well, you you won there, Paige. You 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 home ran one right there. That's, I did. You I home, got more yeah. right than wrong. You got way more right than wrong. Yeah. Okay. Before we go, okay. So you mentioned pyramid um, plug all the time. What else are you working on? What else can where can people see you? Well, always on social media. Yeah. I'm at Real Paige Davis on all the handles. It's the I love Insta. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh my gosh, have you watched Social Democracy? Oh, Social Dilemma. I mean, Social Dilemma. Yes. I know. We haven't talked about. Right? I know. We haven't talked about it yet on the show, but we're going to. Did it not change the way you looked at social media? It did. I felt like there were a lot of things I already knew, but yeah, everybody, you got to watch it. So yeah. good. It's I so- could talk about TV forever. I'm going to try to host my own talk show, Jason. I'm going to start to try to do it on Zoom. Will you be a guest? Um, yeah, of course. Hey. Yeah. Okay. What's your theme song? Ha- try to have a good day, or what is it set? What did it say? Let's make it a good day. Well, you made my day good already. Well, you, you started my day out right. You made my day, and you do all the time. I love you, sweetheart. Thank you for doing the show. Love you so much. Paige Davis, everyone. Like she said, be sure to follow her on Instagram. Her handle, Real Paige Davis, not the fake one. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back right after this. Yes, I'll be on your show.